Martha was happy with her new daughter-in-law and welcomed her into the family. Then she saw it, an unusual birthmark that turned her stomach and froze her smile. Emotions were racing through her head and her body just stood still at that moment. Her reaction was priceless and confused by what had just happened, tears streaming down her cheeks. Why had Martha's happy feeling turned to fear and great doubt? Before we start, can we get this video to 1000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. She looked into the eyes of the beautiful young girl who would become her son's wife. Her heart pounded as she recognized the familiarity of her features. Martha lived in the small town of Fargo, North Carolina, and was always eager to hear from her son. She was excited about his wedding coming up. She hadn't seen him since Mark moved to New York four years ago for a better job. Since she was in the dark about what happened to her son's nightlife, she had no idea what her daughter-in-law would look like, how she would behave, and how she felt about her. But the joy and happiness in her heart was dominated by the thought that her son had found the love of his life and that he was willing to spend the rest of his life with her. After living in New York for half a year, Mark called his mother and told her that he had found a girl. Martha was overjoyed that her son had found someone. Who wouldn't be happy to know that their child has finally found someone special? Her son told stories about his lover. Martha drew a picture in her mind at that moment. Unfortunately, details were missing that could not be expressed over the phone. Martha was confused and hoped it wasn't her lost daughter who has fallen in love with her half-brother. Martha was very grateful that Mark decided to have his wedding in his hometown of Fargo. Everyone was excited to meet the bride-to-be, and Martha was one of them. During the years apart, they eventually reconnected, and now she will have a daughter-in-law, an addition to the growing family. Finally, Martha was able to meet her daughter-in-law, Holly. She had never met her, but she had talked to her on the phone before. But she had no idea how their meeting would turn out. When she got there, she hugged her son. She hadn't seen him in four years, and now it was finally over. But when she saw Holly, Martha was frozen. It was like seeing a ghost. First encounters are always a surprise and can go either way. That was the case for Martha and Holly. They really started to like each other, and a close bond quickly developed between the women. She was overjoyed at the idea of the wedding and that her son was happy and content, but the nasty look Martha had after the meeting was something no one could ignore. She didn't quite understand what had happened, but she was determined to get answers. Martha looked down at her new daughter's hands and immediately noticed a strange birthmark. She didn't understand until it popped into her head. Holly saw the surprise on Martha's face and immediately expressed concern. What was going on? Birthmarks don't happen overnight, and it wasn't something that can be made by hand. You are born with it, and it stays with you forever. But something was definitely wrong, and it wouldn't be the first time she'd seen such a birthmark. It looked just like the birthmark Martha's daughter had, but it had been missing for years. She was tense as she relived the memory. Was she really who she thought she could be? Martha was so doubtful that she decided to share her findings with her best friend. Sarah, Martha's best friend, agreed with her findings and advised her to keep calm. Martha now examined every feature of Holly's face. She paid close attention to everything. Could this really be her long-lost daughter? The more she looked at the girl, the more she recognized her. There were too many similarities between the two to be a mere coincidence. Was it really her? She didn't want to say anything that would ruin the perfect day her son had planned so carefully. She decided to ask for help from the detective who assisted her family in the first hour of her daughter's missing. It would be better to let her answer questions when things settled down than to cause an incident that would make everyone uncomfortable. The problem was that Martha found the information and ideas in her head disturbing, and she wanted to prove her claim. A light went on in Martha's head. She would ask Holly if she could meet her parents. She knew they would be the source of all this. Holly smiled and brought her parents over to greet her. They introduced each other, and then Martha asked if she could take them to the side to talk to them. Martha still wasn't sure how to put the question to them. She had no idea how her parents would react if she blurted out what she was thinking. She knew time was a sensitive thing right now. She tried to be as calm and collected as possible when she asked if they had adopted their daughter. But as soon as she asked, she saw their cheerful expression change into something else. It was clear they were hiding something. 
Instead of pretending nothing had happened, Martha knew she was onto something. Holly's parents had the answers and all she had to do was squeeze it out. They knew something, and they weren't willing to share it because their expressions said it all. But Martha was persistent and wanted them to give her some clarity. After all these years, it was time to know the truth. Her parents finally told her the truth. She was adopted, but it was a secret they had never told, not even to their daughter. Then they asked Martha how she knew. Martha didn't answer, but begged them to continue asking about her birth parents and what they knew about them. But they seemed to get very nervous before answering. Holly's parents wanted to make sure that what they were about to say would not affect their daughter in any way. It was a secret, and they didn't expect it to come out like this. They explained to Martha that they had found Holly wandering the streets decades ago. When no parents came back for her, they decided to take her in and raise her as their own. With more insight into the situation, Martha didn't know what to think. She felt tears well up in her eyes until she couldn't hold them back anymore. Tears streamed from her eyes, and she was devastated. For nearly 20 years, her assumption and feeling had been correct. That moment, that rush of emotions, shock and confusion was all worth it. You could only imagine what was going through Holly's mind with what she heard from her parents and Martha. Bits and pieces finally came together, and she was about to explode with the information she gleaned from the conversation. Neither the parents nor Martha knew that Holly was just around the corner. Holly was not happy that she had not been informed about her past. The three of them spoke in hushed whispers. She doesn't know she's adopted. Holly heard her mother say. In between sobs, Martha managed to say, I think she's my biological daughter. I lost her on a trip in Alabama over 20 years ago and have never found her again. Holly's mother couldn't believe it. Holly, on the other hand, was already part of the conversation, even though no one knew it was her. Holly was stunned by what she had just heard. She turned and looked at Martha with wide eyes, tears welling in them. Holly knew she had to confront them now. She went to her parents and asked them if everything she had heard was a joke or if it was the truth. They answered quickly. Holly's eyes were turning red with tears streaming down her tear duct. Holly was not prepared for the information and answers she would receive. The three adults were as shocked as Holly was. And now that Holly had an idea, there was no going back. It was time for the truth, and it was time for Holly to accept her beliefs. You were roaming the streets of a rural area in Alabama. We took you to the police station, but when no one came to get you, we had to take you away, her mother cried. Holly looked at Martha and Martha back at Holly. Everyone wept for the truth that had come to light. Imagine everything you knew as truth falls apart and changes in a matter of seconds. Who would be prepared to take in this kind of information and who would have been given the necessary skills to handle it with ease? Martha, Hole, and Holly's parents couldn't hold back their tears and all they could do was let it flow naturally. Holly looked like an excited toy, but as if something finally calmed down in her, she accepted the turn of events and opened her arms. Martha smiled and the two hugged, but what would happen to the wedding now that the truth was out? And what about Martha's son? It was better to know the truth than to hide in a lie. Since the revelation, no one knew what was going to happen next. Even when Martha and Holly are reunited, they still had to explain everything to Martha's son. He was technically going to marry his brother and sister without his knowledge. The best solution the three had in mind was to leave Martha's son and explain to him what had just happened. Everyone was in disbelief at what had just happened. As it turned out, despite sharing a mother, Mark and Holly did not share a blood relationship, which meant they could still get married however they wanted. If the two had been related, they could not have married, and the whole wedding would have had to be cancelled. But why weren't they blood relatives? At first, you will think that a marriage is no longer possible. Surprising as it may seem, there was evidence that their heritage was not from the same bloodline. Martha further explained the situation so that everyone was on the same page. The wedding went ahead anyway, and everything turned out to be fine. So what was it? Why weren't they related? Fortunately, Mark was adopted by Martha after she lost Holly. She was devastated and knew she had to find someone to fill the emptiness in her heart. That eventually became Mark. And with the bride and groom, there was one major difference in how the two grew up. Since they were both adopted, there were no further problems. Martha didn't have the heart to carry a new child 
and she knew adoption was a viable option for her. With the loss of her daughter, things only got harder, and she needed to complete her life with a child she knew she wanted and needed. Hence Mark's adoption and the upbringing he received. Holly was never told she was adopted, but Mark was. Martha told him when he asked her directly. He still felt that she was his mother, and nothing could ever change that. Martha loved both her children the same way. It wasn't a problem that he was adopted, so he just remained the child he was. But how would Mark react when he heard the impossible news? Would things change? While the couple was surprised to say the least, they were both relieved that at least they weren't related. They were in love and wouldn't let this detail stop them from making their dreams come true together. Holly had given birth to a husband and another mother on the same day and was excited to learn more about her heritage and what had happened to her years ago. Instead of worrying about how they would adapt to the situation they found themselves and if they were indeed related, it was a blessing in disguise as they were able to go ahead with the wedding anyway. Holly was ignorant of everything. She was just two when she was adopted by her parents. Holly had a bad memory and had forgotten a lot about her childhood. But to be on the safe side, the couple decided that they should both undergo a DNA test anyway. Luckily, they weren't related, but that didn't mean every question was answered. Holly just had a few questions about how this could all have happened. Of course, it is understandable that she wants this. Holly also wanted to prove that Martha was indeed her biological mother, so they also got tested. It would be better to back up the claim with evidence than to live with questions that can keep them awake at night. At least the test will allow them all to get the answers they deserve and need. It was good news for everyone. Holly still couldn't remember her biological father. Martha frowned and told her that he passed away a few years ago, but that he was a wonderful man. Holly was sad, but also happy that she had at least found out the truth about her parentage and her biological mother before it was too late. It was a good ending.